Hey, good morning. It's Mary Ellen from the channel Sensational After 60, and it's pretty early here in Southern Illinois right now. Uh, I came to you today to talk about a couple of products I've been trying uh, to talk about a daytime look. I <clears throat> just put my basic everyday makeup on. One color of eyeshadow that's gray. Uh, when I was a teenager, I went to the movie and, well, of course, I went to a lot of movies. But I saw Catherine Deneuve, a beautiful, beautiful actress who happened to be born 10 years before me. And she had gorgeous brown eyes, and I just, and she had, she was rocking that gray eyeshadow. So ever since then, I am kind of drawn to gray eyeshadow. Um, anyway, that's just a thought. Um, two things in particular that I've been trying, uh, and I've really been liking one, and it's, I got this from you guys out there. It's the coconut oil. And what I, I added to my nighttime routine, I would t I take an eighth of a teaspoon measure because I don't really like to put my fingers in any jar. I do this with any product that I have that is not a pump, that's a jar. I uh, either just dab the end of it in there and get what I want, but it doesn't even take an eighth of a teaspoon to massage my, it into my skin before I cleanse my face. I really just gently, gently massage it. I put it on my eyelashes and then take one of the cosmetic wipes and remove it. And I just love it. It makes my skin feel so good. And then I go ahead and do the Purity and the Clarisonic. Uh, I'm like one of these weird people who goes kind of like cost per use and things like that. But this thing, if I used a level eighth of an inch teaspoon, <laughs> eighth of a teaspoon, it would be like 768 uses, and it costs about $12, so it's going to pretty soon gonna be paying me to use it. Um, I really, really like it. It's um, very soothing. Just for me, putting on cosmetics is really soothing anyway. It's kind of like my time. I'm in my dressing room, which is so messy since I started doing YouTube because half the time I take it into another room and film and then I bring it back. That's why I sometimes forget something. I've um, been really liking the coconut oil. Uh, the other product I've been trying is the IT Number no. 50 Serum. I don't know if you can see. I started using this April 4th. Um, I am a little over halfway finished. I bought it on special from Ulta, and it was $20. Um, it has 50 different ingredients that are supposed to be good for your skin. Uh, I do my skincare, put this on last, let it set about five minutes, and then I, I use primer. At first, I wasn't using the primer because it said it was a primer, but... I need a primer, so the jury is still out on this. I, If I repurchase it, I believe it's $48. For $20, I would definitely repurchase it. For $48, i am not quite sure. Um, I mentioned the other day that this was the very first primer I ever used, and it's the Clean Slate by Tarte. I looked in my drawer. I have 11 primers, facial primers. A few of them are samples, but I use them all. The other thing I've been trying is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, it doesn't do as like the L'Oreal does to cover up the um, pores in my nose, but I like it. You know, I've, I've tried it for three days, <gasps> and my lips I love it. It is the Rimmel Lacquer Gloss. I mentioned it in another video. It's um, apocalyptic. I can't wear it just on my bare lips. I have to apply something underneath it. And today I just used uh, one of the 
Neutrogena mo color moisture sticks on my lips, just a color I don't use very often. Tried that the other day and it lasted about six hours. So every day I try a new lipstick and I note what time I put it on and I note what time the color leaves me. And you know, I eat and drink coffee and anyway, I just had a few things to share. I really appreciate the welcome I've had to the YouTube channel and uh, nice comments. Um, if you're interested in subscribing, I'd love to share a lot more things with you. Uh, something else I'm not doing I want to mention is I have quit curling my eyelashes. Um, maybe once, unless I want to have my eyelashes look really pretty. Because no matter, I clean my, I, I don't ever, I don't ever curl my lashes when I have mascara on. Um, I clean it, but when I do it, no matter how, and I've curled my lashes for years, I mean, since I was 16, now they're coming out, so uh, it's not worth it. So I always use one coat of mascara. If, uh, if it doesn't do it, it just doesn't do it. But anyway, as I say, but anyway, um, glad to share a video with you today. Thank you.